This is when it really hits home. Kickoff time is almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams that truly deserve to be on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and when it matters most? All the drama and all the action coming up next on EA TV. Welcome along to an evening that was made for football. The pitch is in great order too. Guy Mowbray here and Sue Smith is here to commentate with me. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Portugal taking on France. Yeah, cheers guys. Great to be here. I think it's important that both teams are focused from the off though and they start quickly. But I'd love to see some go. It might still happen. Nothing coming from their play in the end. This is today's Portugal team. Diogo Dallo plays with João Cancelo as fullbacks. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the center of midfield. And leading the attack is Cristiano Ronaldo. This for the lead. Well, it was looking good, but ultimately nothing doing. This is the France starting 11. Mike Magnan is in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Jonathan Klaus in the fullback positions. Aurelien Schuermeni starts alongside Adrian Rabio in central midfield. And leading the attack is Olivier Giroud. Bernardo Silva can play in all sorts of positions, perform all sorts of roles for his team. What are we expecting to see from him today, Sue? Yeah, he's such a creative player. The close control, his agility, how technically aware he is. He's just brilliant to watch. Defenders struggle to pick him up because he's always on the move. Upper Meccano. On to Giroud. Still going here. Players waiting in the centre. Mbappe. Griezmann, Giroud, and there's the whistle, it's a penalty. And the spot kick is seen as sufficient punishment, no yellow card. Yeah, and I can understand the frustrations, he's lucky not to get a card there. To make it 1-0, and it's in, a show of composure from 12 yards out. the wrong way he's definitely giving the eyes there and it's a simple finish in the end i love that one nil then as we get started again france moving the ball forward with real purpose now oh they were getting interested there but not anymore ronaldo Ronaldo and they want to see a shot here off the upright it's broken down and it had looked promising well so unlucky not to be level in this one guy it was a great effort but you just wonder if they're gonna look back on that though cross deep towards the back post well actually just a little too close to the keeper he'll happily take that Ronaldo Bruno Fernandes pushing forward with options available now this has to be well he's kept that out nicely delivered to the edge of the box Fernandes Schuermeni now Canate Homer. Mbappe a wild effort you have to say and probably the less said about it the better Ruben Neves 
Fernandez. The pass was red and the ball has changed hands. Out of play. Throw in to come. Rafa Liao. Switched on and ready to intercept there. They're not getting close enough here. And with that, the first half in Lisbon comes to an end. So the second half begins with France looking to build on all the good that they did in the first 45 minutes. Bernardo Silva. Ronaldo. And it's been cut out. There's the turnover. Is this the equaliser? The goalkeeper more than ready for it. The noise levels have just gone up. I think they sense that this is an equaliser come in. It's a big opportunity, this. And ready for it coming his way. And they go again with another corner. Bernardo Silva. And possession given away. And this could be the keeper quick to get across and make the save. It's been delivered. Bernardo Silva. This is a good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? Well, it looked promising, but only up to a point. Kylian Mbappe is always hard to play against, and that's been the case again here. What have you made of his performance, Sue? Well, it was certainly a good 45 minutes. Obviously, got the goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout, too. Hopefully, see a little bit more of that in the second half. France haven't seen much of the ball, but as we know, possession isn't everything in the game. They certainly look threatening when they do have the ball, and they'll be happy to let the opponents play in front of them if it ends up like this. Neves. Plenty of open space here. Ball taken away from them. Lovely weighted pass. Well, it did look threatening, but the keeper will be happy to claim that. stopping him yet well it was looking good but ultimately nothing doing well nothing happening there the goalkeeper can just pick that up Fernandez there's a chance for the breakaway here Ronaldo found nicely and in and it's there a goal that draws them back on level terms Well, here we can see it again. You do have to feel for the keeper. He's left completely exposed at the back, and he never really had much of a chance. It's poor defending, you have to say. So it's one all as the ball gets rolling again. Jonathan Klaus. Coma. On to Giroud. Fernandez. Fernandez. Oh, they scored a game. The game had only just restarted after the last one. Well, here it is again, and he just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Skips past the defender like he wasn't there, and then coolly slots it home. Exciting climax to an exciting game. 
But is there enough time left for a response? Ibrahima Kanate. And that's been seen as a foul. Free kick. Kept it in just. This has to be. Oh, well saved. That was a really good chance. Giroud. We need to find a way to that late leveler, and this could be it. Giroud. And he's beaten his man here. In behind. Can he finish? Well, he's kept that out nicely. Not long left. They need something to happen from this corner now. Played into the box. And the referee brings the match to a close. It's a match that has not gone France's way. Well, they were just a bit off it today, weren't they? Sometimes that happens. They need to reflect and learn from it and then look to bounce back in the next game. Well, we know how good Bernardo Silva can be. Rarely anything less than a 7 out of 10. He's shown that today, hasn't he? Yeah, and a good performance, but then we wouldn't expect anything less. A solid 6 or 7 out of 10. And he certainly played his part in the results.